Dr. Kemp is fun-loving, mischievous, very, very talented medically, very loyal to his patients and to the Opelousas general community. He has a great deal of compassion and patience for his patients, um, and I became one of his patients over the years. And so I know that he is very, very talented as a physician, but a gifted human being. My first impression of Dr. Kemp was, oh my gosh, he's got a ponytail. We had no doctors on staff with long hair. He was the first, and even our male employees could not have beards, and I wondered how that was going to go over. And he was probably one of the most popular physicians in OB that I've ever worked with. He had a large following. We had patients that came from all over our area. We even had families that he delivered generations of the families and the girls would come back to Dr. Kemp to have their babies and they'd come from Mississippi, New Orleans, wherever. Well, you know, I first came to Opelousas in St. Landry uh, 20 years ago. And when I first came here, it was an odd experience for me. I felt somewhat like a stranger in a strange land. And I was thinking, maybe I made a mistake by coming to this little town in South Louisiana. And then all of a sudden, I walked into the doctor's lounge, and sitting there was this long-haired, hippie-looking guy with a beard, and he's doing a crossword puzzle. And he puts his pen down, looks up, and started talking to me. And we had a conversation for the next 20 years. And he became nothing but one of my best friends whom I love and adore. And it wasn't just myself. It's the whole community. And there's a reason why people love Dr. Kemp, his patients, his colleagues, his coworkers. It's how he interacts with you, how he talks to you. He can be any age. And it's like you're sitting down and talking to a friend. And even though Dr. Kemp won't be here in person like he was in the past, but he will be here. He'll be here through all his interactions and how he touched me and everyone else around him. That's going to live on. There's no way that it, it won't live on. Oh, Dr. Kemp is very laid back. One thing I can say, he's never in a rush. In emergency, sure, but his mo most of his life, he's just been kind of laid back and going at his own pace. He delivered both of my children. And uh, he was there when my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And I knew what she had, but I needed someone else to do it. And he was there. John is a great caring physician. He's one of the physicians I can always count on that will call me during times of reading, interpreting images for his patients that he's really caring and concerned about his patients. He'll come over and review those images with me. I'll never forget, he's one of those that always takes care of that patient. He has always been there for the hospital. He's certainly been on our board and responsible for our board and his position. And I think uh, everything he's done as far as a physician and a board member has showed his his uh, experience and his love for our community and for our hospital. John is a very caring physician. He was always one that would pick up the phone and call us about any diagnosis that he had questions about and um, real easy to deal with. Um, he's, he's just easy to work with and he loves his patients in our hospital. I think about John as being like a cornerstone physician for this community. He's just been here a long time. He has a great reputation for patients, he cares about them, and he cares about his colleagues as well. What can I say? He's an um, extraordinary physician in a difficult world with a difficult specialty. And he's just exemplary. His service to the hospital, it's amazing. You know, you're chief of staff, you're on the board. But I think more important to me, and better than anything else, is the person that he was. I first met Dr. Kemp on September 19, 1979, when my mother presented to Opelousas General to deliver her sixth child. But there was a complication. My sister was coming out butt first, and the umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck, which is a um, terrible complication. So Dr. Kemp immediately recognized it, had his hands on my sister, hands on the cord, and as soon as he lost the heartbeat in the cord, he immediately delivered my sister. She started to bleed profusely. <clears throat> and, of course, with the experience that he had, he was able to 
take it to surgery and, uh, and save a life. And I felt right then and there that that's the kind of surgeon that I wanted to be, someone who could not only have the skill and the knowledge to save someone's life, but spare their family a, a catastrophe of such a loss. I'm happy to accept the Hall of Fame award. Um, i somewhat at a loss for words. I'm grateful and humbled by it. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience working here, and I've just been privileged to be able to make a decent living doing something I really enjoy.